Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, today is one of my favorite types of lectures. It's basically solving problems. Uh, continuation of construction problems in geometry. Um, without any further ado, I'll just go through my list of problems and uh, Obviously, you have to try it yourself first. They're all in the notes for this lecture. And uh, when you are done, uh, just listen to the lecture and uh, see if you're right, or, or I'm right, or wrong. Anyway, so let's go, one by one. Construct a right triangle by its two legs. All right. Right triangles by two legs. Oh, these are legs, or cathety, um, as they are called in legend sometimes. So, construction is very simple. Um, you start with the right angle somewhere. Now, how to start with the right angle? Well, obviously, we start with a line and choose some kind of a point outside and drop a perpendicular to it. Uh, now, on one side of this angle, you basically, uh, using the compass, you mark one particular side, and on another uh, angle side, you mark another point and just connect them. So that's easy, and obviously we are using the fact that this is the right triangle. That's why this angle is known. Basically, it's an equivalent to constructing any triangle by two legs and angle between these legs. Uh, in this case, angle is 90 degrees, so it's known a perpendicular. Simple. Construct the right triangle by one of its legs, catheters, and a hypotenuse. All right, so now we have other two elements. Usually it is sufficient to have two elements in the right triangle, three elements in, in the regular triangle. Uh, so we have uh, one catheters, one leg, and hypotenuse. Uh, okay. Uh, how to construct this particular triangle using these three elements. Well, very simple. Again, you start with the right angle. You use the compass to measure this particular side and mark the point here. Then using compass set to this particular side, to hypotenuse, you basically mark the circle with this as the center. And wherever it crosses this line, that's our triangle. Okay. Now, all these problems are extremely simple. And what I'm basically doing is accumulating certain um, sets of simple problems. So in the future, when something more com uh, complex comes along, I won't really go into the details how to construct, for instance, the right triangle by two uh, cathetes. Uh, I'll just say, okay, we know these two legs of this uh, right triangle. That's why we can build it over there, construct it over there, without any details. So I'm continuing with these little things, small, simple. Construct the right triangle by a cathetes and an acute angle it forms with a hypotenuse. All right. So now we have this catheter and this angle. OK, how can we do this? Well, as usually, if we know some kind of an angle, we should start with this angle. So let me start with this angle. I'll build an angle which is given. On this leg, I will mark a segment which is congruent to a given leg. And from this point, I'll just construct a perpendicular 
from the point to this line. And wherever it crosses the other side of the, uh, of the angle, that's, that's my third point of a triangle. Okay. Construct an isosceles triangle by altitude to a base and one of two congruent sides. Okay, so we have an isosceles triangle. We have altitude to the base and one of the sides. Now, when I'm saying that these are given elements, um, basically it means that somewhere on the plane there are two segments, one and two. And what's given is, okay, this element is my altitude, this element is my uh, side of the, of the uh, isosceles triangle. And using these two elements, I have to reconstruct or construct my, my triangle. So this picture is very helpful to analyze the problem. Um, so, what if, for instance, uh, I have this particular triangle, so how does it look? Okay, this is my side and this is my altitude. But now, what do we see? We cannot construct immediately the whole triangle, but we can construct half of this triangle, this one. A, B, D. A, B, D. Since in the uh, isosceles triangle, the altitude to the base and median and, bis and angle bisector uh, and perpendicular segment bisector, they're all the same, basically, then I can just construct half of this triangle and then construct another half by symmetry. So, in this particular triangle, the half of the isosceles triangle. It's a right triangle because it's uh, altitude. Uh, so I can construct it by the catetus, the leg, and the hypotenuse. So this is hypotenuse. This is um, the uh, the catetus. Now I have already done before this particular problem a couple of other construction problems related to right triangles. I've done that already. So I'll just use basically what I have already done. I know that I can construct right triangle by hypotenuse and catetus. So I'm saying, okay, let's consider ABD. We have two uh, elements of this right triangle known, which is hypotenuse and the catetus. All right, so I'll build it. I'm not going into the details about how to build it. I refer to the prior construction problems which have been already solved. So, I can do this one. Now, I um, uh, continue this line and build the symmetrical point here. So, these two segments are equal to each other. And that's my full triangle. Now, why can I do it? Uh, well, because the altitude is also a median. So, it breaks the whole base into two halves. So, I'm analyzing the problem first by drawing the picture of the ready-to-be, ready-to-use triangle and see what elements actually um, constitute this particular triangle. And I know which elements I can construct. Actually, half of the triangle I can construct. Then, I continue with another half. And again, notice that I have already used one of my construction um, problems, which I have done earlier about right triangles, in the subsequent construction problem when I had to construct an isosceles triangle. All right, what's next? Construct a isosceles triangle by altitude to a base and an angle opposite to a base. Okay, at the vertex. So again, let's consider we have this already constructed. So, what's known? Known this angle, and altitude BG. Now, again, we know that altitude 
to the base of an isosceles triangle is also a bisector of the angle and bisector of the of the base. So since it's bisector, um, consider again the right triangle and altitude. The right triangle ABG. What do we know about this right triangle? We know one catheters, the leg, because that's the altitude of, of the isosceles triangle. And we actually know this angle because it's half of the angle which is given. Now, angle ABC is given, so half of this angle I can consider as basically almost given. I can construct it. So how, how do I proceed now? I can construct ABG knowing the leg and the angle. So if I have an angle and altitude, so what I do first, I bisect the angle using this half and uh, in this segment I build uh, the right triangle and to complete the picture I just reflect this point to this side so it's the same length because it's a median as well this one. Okay, let's go. Construct a socialist triangle by a base and altitude towards one of two congruent sides. Uh -huh. That's slightly different. So we have an isosceles triangle. So we have a base, AC. These two sides are equal, congruent to each other. So I have this, and I have altitude to one of congruent sides given. Now, well, obviously, as you understand, I can consider the triangle ABC. It's a right triangle, since this is an altitude. And I know hypotenuse and the catheters of this right triangle, so I can build it. So if my segments, this is AC and this is AD, this is altitude and this is the base. So using these elements, I construct right triangle. Okay, that's the beginning. Now, now what, what should we do? How can I get this third point of the triangle? Well, actually it's quite simple. What you can do is you can continue this line and uh, since this point B lies on the perpendicular bisector of AC, I can build perpendicular bisector AC and that's where they cross. That's my third line. All right? And again, I'm not going into the details about how to construct a perpendicular bisector or how to bisect an angle or how to mm, drop a perpendicular to, to a line, etc. All these elementary problems have been discussed in the prior lectures and they should be at your disposal at any time. All right. Construct right triangle by hypotenuse and the acute angle it forms with one of the catheters. Okay. So you have a hypotenuse and this angle. Well, I think I did solve this problem before. Well, in any case, it's easy. You start with an angle which is given. You draw a hypotenuse. Oh, I think before I was solving when it was one of the catheters and an angle. Now it's a hypotenuse and an angle. All right, so you have an angle. 
then you have this segment, so you mark it here, so this is your point here, and what you should do is drop a perpendicular to this line, and you got your triangle. Given an angle and a point inside it. Okay, angle and point inside it. Construct a straight line crossing this point and cutting congruent segments from the sides of a given angle. So I have to construct the line in such a way that these two segments are congruent to each other. Well, I remember one of the previous theorems or construction problems, whatever um, we had, was the following. If you have an angle bisector and draw a perpendicular anywhere uh, to this uh, angle bisector, then this perpendicular would cut congruent segments from both sides. Why? Well, it's obvious, since this is an angle bisector, these angles are uh, congruent. Uh, these are right angles, since we draw a perpendicular to bisector. And this uh, catheter is common for these two right triangles. That's why hypotenuses are equal to each other. So, how can I apply it to this particular problem? Well, first of all, it's good that I remember that particular theorem. Now I can use it. Um, now, how can I use it? Well, obviously I have to draw an angle bisector first. And from M, I have to draw perpendicular to this particular uh, bisector. Now, this perpendicular obviously is crossing the point M, which is required. And since it's perpendicular to the bisector, it cuts both uh, sides of the angle um, in, in equal segments, equal, equal lengths of the segments. So that's it. That's a very simple one. But you do have to remember, as you see, you do have to remember certain things. Um, and and that, that's typical in mathematics. You always have to do something new based on something which you have already learned and, and basically know. Okay, construct two segments but they're given sum and differences. Uh -huh. It's similar to the angles, actually. We already covered this with angles. So if you have two segments, x and y. Now, you are not given these two segments. What you are given is sum of these two segments, called A, and difference of two segments, which is B. So, the A is equal to X plus B, and B is equal to X minus Y. All right? Well, actually, let's draw A a little smaller. Now, what should we do now? Well, obviously, we have to solve this particular equation for X and Y, and uh, uh, that's very easy. You just sum them up. It will be a plus b, which is equal to 2x. Uh, and uh, if you um, subtract one from another, it will be a minus b equals to 2y. And as a result, you have x equals a plus b by half, and y equals a minus b by half. All right? Let me make it prettier. Just a little longer. So the difference is B and sum is A. Okay. So now, knowing A and B, we algebraically solved for X and Y. So how can I construct these two segments, X and Y, if I know A and B? Well, elementary. I just add a plus b and divide it by 2, 
how to add two segments you have to basically know you just draw one of them equal to a and then continue with another and then how to divide it by two well you draw a perpendicular bisector so half of this is a plus b divided by two and that's exactly the x which we need now similarly how to construct a minus b divided by two well you construct a again now you construct b to to the opposite direction towards another uh, end of the uh, first segment and this one whatever is left of it a minus b you draw a perpendicular bisector and this part is your y okay and the last but not least uh, construction problem uh, for this particular lecture is how to divide a segment into 4, 8, 16, etc. parts. Well, again, it's very similar to whatever we did with uh, angles, and uh, the, the, basically the solution is exactly the same. Since you know how to divide a segment um, uh, by 2, you just draw a perpendicular bisector, that means that you can continue this process of dividing by 2. So if you divide this particular part, which is half, again into 2, you will get a quarter. Then you will get 1 eighth, 1 sixteenth, etc. Now, um, I actually addressed a very interesting problem when discussing the angles about how to trisect an angle. And I told that it is impossible to do using the standard uh, tools of geometry, um, compass, and the ruler. With, uh, with segments, it's completely different. You can divide segment into any uh, number of parts, 3, 5, 27, whatever you want. Um, well, there is a difference. I mean, there is a similarity between dividing segments and dividing uh, angles, but this is the difference. So segments can be divided into a, basically into any a, any number. Um, all right, um, that's it for this lecture. Don't forget that there is a website, unizor.com, which um, contains uh, all the different educational material, and it will definitely help uh, parents and uh, student supervisors to control. Um, the study, the educational process, uh, by enrolling the students into certain uh, subjects, um, controlling their uh, their results of their uh, taking the exams, uh, score you can examine, and uh, basically you can either check that this particular um, subject is passed or or failed. And if it's failed, then the student must actually go again through through theoretical material and exam questions until he gets you know reasonable results. Uh, all right, good luck and uh, thanks you very much.